Hello. Today, you will hear the story of a terrible woman's lie. In their small town, everyone knew the story of Lisa's birth. Her mother, Olga, worked as a cleaner at the school. She had many suitors, but she fell in love with the director of the school, Sir He. Even the fact that he was married did not stop her. In addition, his wife Nina also taught geography at the same school. Therefore, when unmarried Olga gave birth to a girl, Lisa, the whole village knew who the father was. And over the years, the child became more and more like the director. Nina then quit her job and left with her, her sons to their native places because she could not survive the shame and shame. Sir, he followed his wife because he could not imagine his life without his twin son, Semyon, and Ivan. And Lisa grew up as a beautiful and intelligent girl. She studied very well at school. The teachers whispered to each other that they say her father succeeded, which is why she is so intelligent and very clever. The girl graduated from school with a gold medal, but she was unable to enter the pedagogical institute she had dreamed of since childhood. Her best friends finally became students, and Lisa went to work as a cleaner in her native school like her mother once did. It was as if August's heart was bleeding that her only daughter, a smart one, had to wash the floor when her peers, who were not as smart as her at all, were sitting at the student desks. Oga hoped for a gold medal, but she had to look for acquaintances negotiate with someone pay. Lisa was also very sorry that she could not enter the pedagogical in institute. But for now, she has come to terms with the fact that she has to work now. The girl did not abandon her dream planning to try it next year. And the next year, a young physics teacher came to the school who fell in love with Lisa at first sight. The girl also liked Arson very much. They started dating. The young man treated Liza very tenderly and gently. He gave pleasant compliments, gave gifts, and flowers. Lisa's mother was very pleased with such an attentive boyfriend of her daughter. And after several months of dating, Arson offered Lisa his hand and heart. The girl happily agreed. And her mother was completely happy because finally everything in her daughter's life began to improve. Arston's parents initially did not want to have a cleaner as a daughter-in-law, but their son was a real man and went against their will because he loved his future wife very much. Young people got married a month later. The bride was very beautiful in a white dress embroidered with shiny stones. Arsenal still could not look at his great treasure. Even his parents who had to be at the wedding of their only son already at the end of the holiday came to terms with the fact that Lisa was a cleaner because they saw that the young couple really loved each other very much. Already a year later, Lisa never forgetting her dream entered the correspondence form of education at the pedagogical institute, and after the third year, she was already teaching biology at her native school. She and Arson loved her hometown very much and they never even planned to move anywhere from here. Peace and comfort always reigned in the family. A couple in love respected and cared about each other. And soon they became happy parents. In their family, such a desired and expected son Roman was born. Lisa was on maternity leave, taking care of the baby and doing all the household chores while her beloved husband worked at school. And in the evening, the energetic girl always had enough strength for her beloved man. Their life was like a fairy tale. And Olga, Lisa's mother was very grateful to fate, which once gave her a daughter, albeit from a strange man. She did not even mention how difficult it was for her to raise and provide for her child herself. The woman was simply happy looking at the success and happy life of her only daughter, considering it a reward for their long patience. When little Roman turned three years old, Lisa went to work after maternity leave. She loved her native school very much. She loved inquisitive children, and she gladly helped them learn new things in the amazing world around them. A few weeks later, Liza had to go to a refresher and retraining course for working with children. Leaving her mother on the farm at home, Liza went to the regional center. Apaching the dormitory where she was supposed to stay for 10 to 12 days, Lisa bumped into a strange man at the door who was eight years older than her at first glance. He apologized profusely for touching Lisa so carelessly because he was in a hurry. 
Lisa, of course, forgave because she herself was somewhat absent-minded and inattentive today. Perhaps, from the fact that for the first time, she left her relatives at home for such a long time. Then she calmly settled into her room in which she will live this period alone. At first, Lisa was upset that she would not have a roommate. But then she put up with it because number one will disturb her with their conversations. After lunch, Lisa had free time until tomorrow morning. She decided to go outside to breathe fresh air and admire the city. Near the hostel there was a wonderful park with tall oaks, the leaves of which had already begun to turn yellow here and there. Admiring the surrounding nature to which Lisa has always been indifferent, she suddenly noticed on the bench the same stranger who had accidentally pressed her against the door of the dormitory today. The man was looking through some papers and seemed not to notice anything around. But when the woman came closer, he raised his head and recognizing her smiled. He had beautiful blue eyes like, Lisa's. The stranger once again apologized for his clumsiness in the morning and said his name was Ivan. Then he offered, so to speak, to atone for his guilt in front of the woman by inviting him to a cozy cafe located nearby for a cup of tea with fragrant cross arms. Lisa agreed. For some reason, she began to be attracted to this Ivan as if by a magnet. In the cafe, the man said that he was a geography teacher, loves his work very much. He decided on his profession at school and his parents were also teachers. There is a brother who already has his own family and two children. Ivan himself has not yet met his lady of the heart. Telling Lisa about all this, he sadly noticed a wedding ring on her finger. I wish, of course, that she was unmarried because he liked her very much. Something so familiar, warm and familiar emanated from her. They immediately found a common language as if they had known each other for a long time. They had a lot in common in their views on the education of schoolchildren and in their thoughts about the development of science. And they laughed a lot when it turned out that both Lisa and Ivan's fathers had the same name, Sergei. This is such a coincidence. It was as if fate itself pushed them to meet. The next day, they agreed to go to the cinema for a very interesting and comedic film. This time was spent having fun, which brought Lisa and Ivan even closer. The woman was completely distracted from thoughts about her husband and son. Spending all her free time with Ivan. There were two days left before her departure. All this time, Lisa was in the company of Ivan, who was constantly inventing something interesting and useful for their entertainment. And today, there was a real storm outside. The cold wind and heavy rain prevented us from enjoying nature. Therefore, Lisa decided to stay in the room. Soon she heard a knock on the door. On the threshold stood cheerful Ivan, all wet from the rain. He held a cake and a bottle of champagne in his hands. The man asked if Lisa would let him dry off a little. The woman, of course, invited him to her room. They had a great time together. Outside the window, the rain beat mercilessly on the windows, and the room was warm and cozy. Lisa and Ivan sat next to each other and drank champagne discussing further plans for the future. They expressed hope that they would meet again someday. Suddenly there was a loud thunder outside. Lisa suddenly, frightened by a sudden loud sound, clung to Ivan. The man hugged a woman soothingly stroking her back. He felt such a desire to kiss Lisa that he could not resist and lifting her chin with his hand gently touched his lips to hers. Lisa kissed back, and they overcome by a sudden and mad passion, moved to the bed. It was already night. When the lovers tired of intimacy fell asleep in each other's arms waking up in the morning, Lisa and Ivan strangely enough felt as if they had been married for a long time. The woman thought that she would be overcome by a sense of guilt before her husband, Arson. But no, she didn't feel guilty. She even felt happier and more loved right now with Ivan. Until the departure, the lovers spent their free time in bed. When Ivan saw Lisa off, they stood for a long time hugging tightly. The woman did not want to part with him. And Ivan would be happy to unite his life with her forever. They promised each other that they would meet again at the first opportunity.
When she got home, Lisa remembered Ivan with sadness. Arsenal's love no longer gave her any joy. She dreamed of a lover. The woman did not want to tell her husband everything about the betrayal because they did have a common son who had to live with his mother-father's relatives. But there was such a longing for Ivan in her heart that Lisa often did not find a place for herself because of the desire to see her lover. Arson did see changes in the behavior of his beloved wife. He still could not understand the reason for some sadness in her eyes. Although sometimes he noticed her dreamy eyes with a slight smile. When he asked what was happening to her, the woman replied that she simply froze. Therefore, Arson tried to help her more in the household, giving her more rest. A few weeks later, Lisa excused herself to the city to visit her former classmate Arson, of course, completely trusting his beloved, let her go. And Lisa spent two days cuddling up with her beloved Ivan in the big bed of the hotel room. Missed him so much during the period of separation. The lovers hardly went out wanting to spend all the time just the two of them. And then they reluctantly left for their homes again. And again, at home, Lisa only dreamed about Ivan. Looking at Arson, she remembered the image of a lover. It was increasingly unbearable for her to be with her legal husband. Even her mother did not know what was happening to her daughter. Although previously, Lisa always told her about everything, once Arson could not stand it. He took his son to his grandmother, and upon returning home began to wait for his wife from work. And then when she came, he directly asked what was happening. He is not a fool and sees that the family is in trouble. Lisa was silent for a long time, but then she decided to tell everything to her husband. In the end, she added that they need to break up as she recently found out that she is pregnant from Ivan and wants to live only with him in the future. Arson's eyes darkened. He did not expect such meanness from his beloved wife. Unable to contain his anger, the man slapped the traitor. And she stubbornly repeated that she would still be with Ivan. Arsenal, angry and upset, began to collect his belongings and those of their son. And Lisa watched it indifferently. She did not even apologize to her husband for the betrayal. And Arson's heart ached from fact that all this time, he was trying to become an even better man for his beloved, who, as it turned out, did not appreciate these efforts. I in the end. He only said that he was taking his son with him because he had full rights to the child, and he believed that he would be useless to a foreign man. And he threatened Lisa that if he saw her around them even once, he would tell everyone about her betrayal and deprive her of her maternal rights through the court. But Lisa agreed to everything just to live with Ivan, especially since soon she will give birth to a child again. A few hours later, an angry mother came to her already empty house. She did not understand her daughter. How could you destroy your happiness with your own hands? Olga shouted at Lisa trying to convince her not to do anything stupid. But it was all in vain. Lisa did not want to listen to anyone, and Olga resigned herself to the fact that she would soon have a new son-in-law. The next morning, Lisa left for the city telling her mother that for now, she and Ivan would live there almost until the birth of the child. Lisa and Ivan lived quite happily for almost six months in the city. During this time, they even quietly and quietly got married. The woman had not yet seen Ivan's parents as they were abroad. Also, she did not see her son and devoted all her time only to Ivan. Finally, Lisa and Ivan went to her mother. It was about two weeks before the baby was born. And Olga already really wanted to see her daughter's current husband. She still did not know, impersonally, number one invited her to their city, and she did not want to impose herself. And so the woman having prepared delicacies was waiting for the guests. When Lisa and Ivan entered the house where the man met her, Olga, looking at him, felt anxiety. Ivan's facial features reminded her very much of someone. Everything became clear when the man giving his last name talked about his parents, noting that he also lived in the same town as a child. When Olga realized that Ivan and Lisa were half-brother and half-sister, she could not stand it and immediately fainted. Lisa and Ivan rushed to the woman's aid, 
not yet realizing what evil joke fate had played on them. When all the came, she cried bitterly. She considered this situation a retribution for the fact that she once gave birth to a strange man. And Lisa, when she found out that her beloved Ivan is her own brother was taken away by an ambulance, because she went into labor due to shock. Lisa had been in the maternity hospital for a month. She gave birth to a girl, but the child had many pathologies of internal organs, many of which left no, no chance for the baby's life. The doctors did everything they could, but still remain powerless in front of such severe defects. When the little heart stopped, the completely grief stricken woman was discharged from the hospital. Returning home, she expected the support of her relatives. But during this time, Ivan, unable to withstand psychologically everything that happened, turned into a, a filthy alcoholic. Olga also began to heavily abuse alcohol, although she had never drank alcohol before. Anna, most difficult thing for Lisa was that both Ivan and Olga began to blame her for all the troubles. Ivan even hit a woman who realized that she could no longer live here. The only thing that occurred to Lisa was to apologize to Arson. It was necessary to beg his forgiveness for anything. When she arrived at Arson's, she saw her ex-husband hugging and kissing a beautiful woman in his new yard. Her son ran up to them and called her ex-husband's new wife his mother. Hearing this, Lisa now clearly understood what she had done. She will not be happy here either. And she upset went in a completely different direction, thinking where to go now and where to find shelter. She suffered a heavy punishment for the crimes she committed against her relatives and friends. Dear listeners, your support is very important to us. If you like our story, please like comment and subscribe. It's very motivating for us. We need your 